Hello children. Today we are going to do the lesson Plants Around Us. Plants are our friends. They make our surroundings green and beautiful. They are all different in size, color and shape. However, there are certain things which are common in all plants. And these are the parts of a plant. So let's have a look at the different parts of a plant and understand its functions. Parts of a plant. This is a picture of a plant. Now let's have a look at the different parts of a plant. These are the roots. The root fixes the plant to the ground. It also takes in water from the ground. This is the stem. The stem holds up the plant it also carries food and water to the different parts of the plant. This is the leaf. The leaf makes food for the plant and is also known as the kitchen of the plant. This is the flower. The flower grows into a fruit. Fruits have seeds which can later grow into new plants. So children, we have learned about the different parts of a plant and their functions. Now let's learn about the different types of plants. There are two types of plants. Big plants and small plants. So let's learn about them in detail. Big plants. Tall, big and strong plants are called trees. A tree has many branches and a strong main stem called a trunk. They live for many years. For example, mango tree. It is big and strong and has many branches. Now let's have a look at some more examples of big plants which are also known as trees. Coconut tree. It is also an example of a big plant as it is tall and strong. But then it is different as all big plants vary in size, color, and shape. You will also notice that the leaves are different. Paper tree is also an example of a big plant. And as you see in the picture, children, this tree is big and strong. Small plants. Some plants are smaller than tree. Examples of small plants are Tulsi plant, Rose plant, Money plant. If you look at all these three plants, you will notice that they are much smaller than the big plants which you have just learnt about. They are smaller in size and are not so big and tall. Small plants also are of different shapes and sizes. So there are four types of small plants. Let's learn more about them. Types of small plants Shrubs Herbs Creepers, climbers. Now let's discuss about them in detail. Shrubs. To begin with, let's understand that what are shrubs and how do they look. These are small and bushy plants with woody stems. They have many branches which grow close to the ground. These plants live only for a few years. For example, the rose plant. Now if you look at this picture carefully, you will notice that the rose plant is small and bushy with woody stems and has many branches which are growing close to the ground. Hibiscus 
Now hibiscus is also a shrub as it is bushy and has many branches. It also has woody stems which are growing close to the ground. Cotton plant. This is also an example of a shrub. So children, I'm sure you all know about shrubs now. Now let's learn about the other type of small plants known as herbs. So what are herbs? These are small plants with soft and green stems. They live only for a season, which means that they are seasonal plants. For example, coriander. If you look at this picture carefully, you will see that the coriander plant is small with soft and green stems. Now let's have a look at a few more examples of herbs. Grass Mint, which is also a herb. So children, all small plants with soft and green stems are known as herbs. Now let's learn about creepers which are also a part of the small plant family. These plants have big stems with big and heavy fruits. They grow along the ground. For example, the watermelon plant. Now if you look at this picture carefully, you will notice that the watermelons are growing along the ground. And do you know why? The watermelons are growing along the ground as the fruits are very big and heavy and the stems are very weak to carry their weight. So the creeper grows along the ground and rests its fruit on it. The pumpkin plant is also a creeper as it grows along the ground. Muskmelon plant. So children, creepers have a very weak stem. They cannot stand straight, nor can they carry the weight of their fruit. So that's why they grow along the ground. Now let's learn about climbers. These plants have weak stems and need the support of walls, other plants or sticks to grow straight. For example, money plant. Now look at this picture carefully. You will see that the money plant has a weak stem and is taking the support of a stick to grow straight. Now let's have a look at some more examples. Pea plant, grape wine. So children, climbers are plants which have a weak stem and they need support to grow straight. So children, I'm sure by now you all have learned so many things about plants. You have learned about big plants, small plants, parts of a plant and types of plants. So do revise all that you have learnt in this video.